Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Capricorn's energy for your love reading for the next of uh, the rest of March 2024 until your next reading. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may not resonate. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. Alright, to the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Capricorn. Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far. And I, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring the messages that are trying to find them at this time. Alright, spirit. The person that's on Capricorn's mind at this time, how they currently see Capricorn? One card upright or reverse, nothing off the ground, spirit. How does the person on Capricorn's mind currently see them at this time? And what are their intentions? What's the person on Capricorn's mind's intentions towards? What's their next likely action towards Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. How does Capricorn currently see the person that's on their mind at this time? How does the person, how does a Capricorn currently see the person on their mind? Okay, and what are Capricorn's intentions towards the person on their mind? And what advice do you have here for Capricorn regarding the person on their mind? advice do you have for Capricorn regarding the person on their mind? Thank you, Spirit. So Capricorn, currently the person that's on your mind sees you as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, why the Ten of Pentacles regarding uh, the person on Capricorn's mind, why they see them at this time as the Ten of Pentacles? Can you give us more about that? We've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So at this time, Capricorn, the person on your mind sees you right now possibly trying to pay off debt or, or whether that's like through money or making up for maybe some conflict that was caused in the family or in your environment. They see you as trying to come out of a space here and into a space of celebration um, with something that uh, went against the grain here, whether that was uh, family tradition or culture. I'm getting more of like a tradition or something that is something that is specific to something in their environment where they found stability, whether that's at work or family. There was some sort of conflict regarding money or just instability. 
but you see them, uh, I'm sorry, they see you in a space right now as possibly trying to create a work-life balance. They see you wanting to celebrate. They, they see you wanting to create balance here in a space where you feel a lack of security or stability. In regards to the person on your mind, Capricorn, their intentions towards you at this time is Queen of Swords in reverse. Spirit, why the Queen of Swords regarding Cap the portion on Capricorn's mind's intentions towards Capricorn? Two of Wands wanted to be seen in reverse. Why are their intentions the Queen of Swords in reverse, Spirit? We've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. One more. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Their intentions seem to be in a in a space of not forgiving about feeling some sort of manipulation or something that brought negativity into the connection. Their intentions are to maybe create that out of spite. Maybe they're trying to get back at you of something. Their intentions are to utilize their verbal communication in not a so productive way. Maybe their intention is to communicate with you how uh, an event um, affected them. De definitely some sort of bitterness and, and spite in their intentions at this time. In regards to their next likely action towards you, we've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. There's some sort of lack of uh, responsibility, accountability here. Um, yeah, Three of Pentacles in reverse, one more spirit for their next likely action. The Ace of Wands in reverse. They may physically pull back too. They may just pull back altogether here. Their next intention is definitely uh, possibly having a breakdown in front of you and a failure to take accountability of their part in something that happened between you two. Maybe there, if it is in regards to like a dispute over money that was within like the family, or maybe you guys lived together and there was something, like maybe you paid for most of it, or you paid for things that y'all didn't need that they wanted, and they're not taking accountability in their part in some sort of financial instability here. They're being like pessimistic and harsh and out of spite trying to 
and out of if they're doing something out of spite, it may be what you're communicating. Maybe you're calling them out in a space of like, hey, like it wasn't just me that's um, the part of this result that took part of this result. In regards to how you see the person currently on your mind, Capricorn, you see them as the fool. Maybe you see them as um, self-centered and kind of wanting their own freedom and having like an ideal, um, maybe they're spontaneous, whether that was with money or just, you see them in a space of wanting to move on wanting to like pretend something didn't happen maybe um let's clarify that spirit how does capricorn currently see the person on their mind as the fool can you clarify the fool for us we've got the five of cups in reverse they don't want to acknowledge something that that uh didn't work out here one more At least you see them as not taking acknowledgement, not taking accountability. The Empress in reverse. You don't feel like they're nurturing this connection. You, maybe you don't feel like they're being... When the Empress is in reverse, I kind of, you know, if they're not tapping into their feminine nurturing side, they may be feeling... Um, overpowering and possessive maybe they're tapping into their more masculine side um, which uh, can definitely in its shadow side in its uh, shadow tendencies of not wanting to really notice that if they keep walking you know texting and walking <laughs> if they don't um, if they're not careful um, you're seeing them as not being careful. You're seeing them as not being conscious here. You're seeing them as not wanting to uh, grow from something that has happened. In regards to your intention sword as a person on your mind, Capricorn, we got the chariot in reverse. Why the chariot in reverse spirit for Capricorn's intentions towards the person on their mind? We got the moon. One more. You definitely feel like there's not like a direction. You feel a lack of control here. Your intentions are to be a little bit more aggressive of maybe pointing out that there's things here that are not being talked about or looked at. And then we've got the ten of swords in reverse. Again, it's like you feel powerless. You're, in, you're for this to be intentions. It's like you want them to see something here. You don't want to move forward until you feel there's direction and clarity in putting some sort of battle or burden or stress that's happening between you. Whether it's about an outside source or an outside event or your family or whatever, your intentions are to kind of point out what's not being talked about here. You're seeing them as not wanting to nurture that conversation. In regards to advice from Spirit here, we've got the Two of Wands. Spirit, why the Two of Wands for advice for Capricorn at this time? We've got the Four of Swords in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Nine of Cups upright. I think Spirit's asking you to look at the accomplishment of putting an end to ignoring some sort of instability here. I think there is 
spirit wanting you here to take the risk, make a decision, leave a comfort zone that you may have found with this person. There's something here about no longer putting, uh, brushing something aside. You know, does this person make you feel like you are not in your power? Does this person bring instability here? It's almost like it's it's time for you to feel uh, accomplished here. It's time for you to see where you've indulged, whether that's with money or how you've invested in this person. Maybe the person saw money as investment and you were emotionally invested and that was like a love language for you and you're kind of seeing how like that was taken advantage of. So for here to be the two of wands as advice, I think spirit's asking you to, yeah, you might have been with this person for a while. You might have pursued or taken care of this person for a while. Um, but they're, they're, the advice is to kind of plan, start making plans here. If this person doesn't take accountability, if there's no accomplishment here, recognize how this person or their the dynamic is contributing to your lack of stability here that they also see you in. All right, loves, that is what I have for you for now. Uh, if you do have any questions, leave a comment. I would love to hear if this resonates and if you'd love to, uh, if you'd like to share your stories with the community, leave a comment. And until next time, and always sending you love, and you've got this.